Yeah, I met a water loss here in Greenwood Village, Colorado. They had a uh, water heater that failed. Um, the two supply lines kind of uh, corroded and, and failed, and now they've been replaced already. So uh, they had a flooded basement here. He had some wet carpet and hard surfaces, uh, drywall, baseboard removed, as you can see here. Um, bar, the uh, wine room had some water damage in here, as you can see. And then their main uh, theater area uh, flooded, uh, probably half of it. They had some uh, uh, furniture in here. Uh, obviously that's sitting down on the carpet and some pad that had to be removed in here. And then in the uh, bar area, uh, you can see the, the flooring uh, is kind of like a, uh, a parquet. Uh, it looks kind of like a, a, a contemporary parquet and some in squares. You can kind of see here, some of the seams um, are lifting up, uh, which is uh, basically uh, the moisture trying to escape from the concrete down below, and it's caused damage to the flooring above here. So we're going to be removing this flooring. Uh, we had to get uh, approval from the uh, uh, homeowner here because he's not going to be filing a claim because he has a large deductible on his uh, uh, insurance. So he wanted to talk to me first before uh, removing it and I'll you know I'm gonna give them a price on what that's gonna look like and as you can see back here we had some tile floor we're, we're basically just cooking it in this bathroom to, to heat up the tile and the tile walls to get everything dried out and then back here they had a, a sewing room that was affected so we got the baseboard pulled and uh, drying equipment set up and some contents moved around in here so that's the water loss.